Sometimes Matt Updike is hard to see when he's on his luge-style three-wheeled cycle. It's been a goal of mine for, you know, a long time when I first had my accident back in 1997 um, to go to the games. And, you know, I made the Beijing games but didn't come away with any hardware. But since then, the broker by day has been winning medals in bunches. I'm in uh, the road cycling events. I specifically race hand cycles, um, arm-powered uh, bikes. It's a three-wheel bike, really low to the ground. In the Paralympics, all riders compete in time trials and road races, and cycles have a unique event. They call the mixed team relay, and that's because we don't do anything on the velodrome, which, you know, that indoor track. So the relay event, myself and two other, uh, two other people were on the team, a female and another male, and uh, yeah, we, were, we, we won it over Italy and Swiss. Matt says advances in treatments for all types of injuries have grown the paragames over the years feels amazing. I mean, especially to have a work so hard for a goal like that. You know, and I work a full-time job. It's, it's an incredible feeling. Hand cycles making the Olympics in 2004 in Athens. The bikes, yeah, they've changed drastically. You know, they're much more aerodynamic now, super low to the ground. Totally unassuming, Matt's neighbors didn't even know they were living next door to an Olympic gold medalist. I think it's really, really amazing, and uh, Denver's really blessed to have several Olympic athletes, but here my neighbor's one, and it's just spectacular. I can't hardly believe it, you know, it's great. Well, as he keeps his head out of the clouds and wheels on the ground, the big question is Rio and his future. Rio, you know, ask me after 2014, I think, for Rio. Rio does sound nice, yeah. And if you see old glory on a safety bike pole, give this Olympian a break on the road. Um, I'm out there racing for the country, so, you know, give me a little uh, slack here. Slack that could help propel him to even more gold. In Denver, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.